Hello students. In this problem, I'm going to explore the concept of a unit vector and coming up with a vector that's in the direction opposite to a given vector. So first thing I'm going to do is focus on the direction. We notice that this vector that we're looking for is um, in the direction opposite to V, and that's very easy to compute. Let's just call this vector W. And to make w in the opposite direction of v, we just multiply v by minus 1. If you multiply v by minus 1, then you multiply each of its components by minus 1. So the vector w, which has components minus 3, minus 5, is in the direction opposite to the vector v. However, we're not done with the problem because we want to compute a unit vector. And unit vectors have length 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the vector v I'm going to find the unit vector in the direction of v, which will have length 1. And then I will change that vector's direction. So how do we construct a unit vector? Well, you look at the length of v, and you notice that it's the square root of 34. That's clearly not 1, so v is not a unit vector. But notice that if I divided each of the components of v by its length, then when I went back and recomputed that length, I would get 1. I will confirm that for you now. Take v and divide it by its length. So if I do so, then I get 3 comma 5 over square root of 34. And then because this is, a, this is 1 over the square root of 34 multiplied by this vector, I can just multiply each of the components by that term. So I'll get 3 over root of 34 comma 5 over root of 34. And I claim that this is indeed a unit vector. All right. I will um, justify that claim momentarily. Um, we could denote this vector with, sometimes you'll see it denoted in some textbooks with uh, e comma v. Sometimes you'll see it denoted with v hat. There are other notations for unit vectors as well, but these are the two most common. Um, to finish the problem, of course, you just change the direction. So e sub w or w hat would just have components 3 root 34, 3 over root 34, comma 5 over root 34, but then you just change the sign. So you have minus 3 over root 34, comma minus 5 over root 34. So this is the completion of the problem, and this is your answer. But like I said, um, as promised, uh, I wanted to compute the length of v to confirm that we do in fact get 1. So if I take the norm of v, uh, v hat, I think I might have been saying vm and v hat, then I have uh, the norm of the vector 3 comma 5 with components 3 comma 5 over root 34. Now remember the norm is the square root of the components, these components squared, but because this is a common factor, this root 34, um, you can factor it out of the square root. So I just factor it out here and I just get the 1 over root 34 in the denominator of this norm. And then clearly now we're done with the confirmation that this still have unit length because we already computed the norm of 3 comma 5. That was back over here. That's the square root of 34. And clearly square root of 34 over square root of 34 is equal to 1. So v hat does indeed have unit length. And then likewise, the negative signs here for w hat um, are, will be irrelevant once we square these components and add them together because w hat and v hat have the same length. Therefore, w hat has length 1 as well. So w hat is a unit vector, and w hat is in the opposite direction of v, given these negative signs. All right, that's how you complete this problem. Good luck.